up guys Levi Peterson here back at it with another video now this video I'm even more excited than I was with the blue tang I got a frogfish now this frogfish wasn't the original frogfish I had planned on getting I had planned on getting a wart skin frogfish um, but I decided to go with a little cheaper one which is called the colored frogfish I mean it doesn't have too much color right now but the thing with these this species and I'm not sure of the exact genes of this frogfish itself because they're really hard to tell because they constantly change colors and you can't really exactly tell what exact genus it is. Um, but it is a colored frogfish and I don't have too much color in my tank as you can see. I kind of went with the cheaper end right now. Um, I may end up adding some mushroom corals and stuff like turquoise, bright orange and everything maybe to get them to become a little more vibrant because mushroom corals really aren't that expensive and everything and they spread like crazy and this tank has enough light for a mushroom coral. So we might try those eventually in the future. Um, for right now, I'm just going to kind of get him stable and everything in this tank. He did eat at the pet store where I work. Um, fed him six ghost shrimp. He's about an inch and a half long, actually. And he ate literally just about every one. I think there was maybe one left. I'm not totally for sure. But he chowed him up real quick. I wish I had a clip of that, but I was too in the moment to record, which kind of stinks. But other than that, I'll get him, like, take him out of the grocery bag and show you guys. I got a couple, I got a dozen ghost shrimp as well but I won't put the ghost shrimp in the tank until tomorrow and I probably will only put half in because I just want to make sure he starts eating in this tank. The only thing I'm a little worried about at the moment is I have a four striped damsel fish. Hopefully the four striped damsel fish does not mess with it. Otherwise that four striped damsel fish is going to get sumped. So and then he's obviously going to get taken back to my store because I have another damsel fish in my sump too for my refugium fish and that's going to be a whole separate video later. Other than that we're going to get him out, I'm going to show you, and then we're going to get him acclimated to this tank. Okay, so here's a 30 gallon hexagon tank he's going into, and here's Tom the Frogfish. And like I said, he is not very pretty at the moment, he's kind of ugly, but he almost looks like a yellow sponge, which I think is kind of cool. Um, you'll definitely stick out in this tank if you put him right up to the tank. It's pretty nice in there. Um, obviously we're going to have to see what he looks like when we actually release him into the tank. And he's actually probably around 2 inches. He's not a bad size. He's literally perfect size for this tank, and obviously he will get a little bigger. Um, but he should stay small enough to stay in this tank for a while. In fact, probably his whole life, a lot of frogfish only get to like three and a half inches. Um, if it's the giant frogfish species, then this thing gets up to ten inches, which I'm really hoping it's not. But they take a while to get that size. Um, as you can tell, I got macroalgae, and then there's an anemone in there, which he shouldn't bother, or it shouldn't bother him. Um, cause they're kind of smart and a lot of fish know not to touch the anemones, which I really don't know how that anemone actually got in there. I think it was on a piece of live rock that I brought back and I didn't realize it. So yeah, we're going to get him in the tank and get him acclimating. There he is up close and personal, Tom the Frogfish. Let's get him acclimated. We're over here and he's been sitting in there for maybe 20 minutes. Kind of want him to be sitting in there for 25, just kind of make sure the temperatures are exactly equal and kind of just let him calm down a little bit before I release him into the tank and he panics. Um, there is a little algae on the glass, so that's what kind of why I actually took the light fully off Because I didn't really want you guys to see the algae. I do have a lonely snail in here But he just doesn't keep up with all the algae and stuff. So I will have to get some probably uh, Black margarita snails or whatever to probably help out with the algae or something like that Um, I actually thought of a lettuce nudibrac for a while But um, if those die they can actually nuke your tank if you didn't know that, then look it up online and you will figure out why. Um, same with like other things like sea cucumbers and all them kind of stuff. Even anemones, for say. Um, if they die, they will actually poison your tank. So you kind of have to be careful and make sure they're well fed. Um, I actually had that happen in the reef tank, but I got the anemone out just in time. Like, actually, like just in time. So I'm actually going to clean off this algae, put the light back on before I release them, and we'll get the release of him swimming into the tank. And that should be a wrap for this video. Alright, so we're actually going to do the release. Right now I got him sitting in this little bucket to kind of hold the bag upright. I'm going to get him out of there as easily as we can. And there he is. Lift off. Straight into the tank. I'm going to sit there for a second. And there he is. There is the colored frogfish. And I will probably never see him swim again. They literally will just crawl and sit in crevices and everything. You, I honestly probably won't see it half the time I'm up here because they blend in so well. But we're going to let him sit for maybe an hour and we'll come back up here and see how he's doing and everything. 
Alright guys, it's actually probably been a couple days since the frogfish has been in there. I've had him for about three days now. Um, he is actually doing very, very well. Way better than I thought. A lot of times when you get frog, sorry, don't mind my hair. I've been real busy. Actually, that's kind of why I didn't finish that video that day. Um, he's actually, it's, I currently have the light off. He's just sitting right there, chilling. He ate like five ghost shrimp. And I have a couple of those videos which we're going to show right after I'm done talking. So, um, like I said, he's been actually doing way better than I think he thought he would. Like, he, he ate at the store, which I was really excited about, and we got him eating in my aquarium. So that's, like, the main thing about frogfish that you have to get going. Otherwise, they don't do so well because, obviously, they're not getting enough food. And they eat a decent amount of food. Um, they can go a couple days without eating. Um, but I'm actually planning on adding some color to the tank eventually. But it's fine for right now, so I'm just going to kind of let it be for a little bit and see how he's doing everything. But he, so far, he's actually doing really, really well. So right now, I'm actually going to show you the quick feeding clip of him eating. There's actually a couple clips, and then we're going to go ahead and end this video. Well, guys, as you just saw, he is eating very well. He ate five ghost shrimp today. I think I put six in the tank. Obviously, for right now, I'm going to try to keep him on live foods. I'm not going to really mess with transferring him over to frozen krill or whatever right now. Because simply, I just don't want to mess with that. I want to give him some time to settle into this new environment and everything. Um, I do have a little thing going for ghost shrimp right now over here. It's just a little bubble and everything. It's just temporary um, keeping them alive and stuff because they're just getting fed to the frogfish and the eel. So, um, other than that, a couple other updates in my room. We got a strawberry Hawaiian crab, or Hawaiian strawberry crab, whatever you like to call it. That's going to have its own separate video. And Algae Barn sent me some stuff, so we're going to have a video on all that kind of stuff. Um, other than that, if you saw in that last feeding clip, I tried to slow it down as slow as I possibly could. Now, there's other people that can make it slower and everything with high-speed uh, slow-motion cameras and everything. Um, they're actually, like, here's exactly what they do. They stalk their prey or they sit there and wait for it to ambush mine kind of stalked it as you saw um and it just sucks it in like it has a big mouth that just kind of comes out and just sucks everything in if you saw the one it actually sucked in a little piece of macrology and it was trying to blow it out and everything um these guys actually have big stomachs and they can eat fish literally almost their size so that damsel fish in there probably won't last longer much longer um I mean, I'm a little bummed, but there's really no way I can get him out of there. Every time I try to scoop him out, he hides in that rock. So, kind of hoping he doesn't get eaten, but the chances are of him not getting eaten are pretty, pretty low. So, um, other than that, don't forget to be the fish and get outdoors, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.